coming over from Pineapple Junction today. I remember's Granny. Hey! Hi ho! There's that lonesome polecat a messing around. Him and that Harless Joe are two of the most woofless bachelors they is. Well, stir yourself, gal. you want, Granny Scrag? Tell that no count polecat to stop making them crazy noises and get me a bucket of water. And you all fetch me up some cooking wood. Worthless bachelors. <coughs> what you doing here, polecat? We call great spirit. Make them fire like ancestor. Maybe Ancestor didn't tell secret. Yeah. Get some water for Granny. I'll get the kindling. Where's the axe? Me trade them to Mary and Sam for firebox. Why don't you light it? Firebox no good. so we wouldn't be putting up with them worthless critters to get a little work done. But, Granny, I told Look you Look at that... you. There you stand with the best years of your life behind you. And nary a hide in your hair of a husband has you got. But I ain't interested in marrying just any men, folks. I love little Abner. Pretty soon the men folks ain't even going to look at you. They desires Jones. Gals with spunk. <laughs> I don't care. It's only little Abner I was waiting for. Yes, your word, Granny. Well, it's about time. Oh, the clumsy! Oh, oh. you clumsy is it? You trying to knock over our poor little house? I only brung a handful, Granny, and you told me to pile it close to the cabin. I'll die. Oh, I'll Take them water. If I catch you throwing any more wood again my house, I'll... 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 It's Granny. <laughs> Well, tan me brown. Oh, he can't help it. He's stupid. 
sure is. And so are you, oh. you big lummox. Oh. It'll be the death of me yet. Oh, if Daisy May could only get that little Abner. Is you very hungry this morning, son? Not ravenous, Mammy, just kind of. Well, in that case, I'll only put on just a few more. Is you up, Pappy? Pappy! Is you up? He sure do try my patience. Are you coming, Pansy? Are you wait? I'm coming. Here, son. Set yourself. I sure ain't hungry. Someday I ain't going to wake you up for breakfast. And you're going to sleep right through all your meals. Oh, unhappy day. I reckons we has the finest food in all the world. Poke chops and eggs for breakfast, poke chops and goobers for lunch, and for supper, more poke chops. Even though this ain't Sunday, we Now, might... don't you start getting your mouth set for them preserved turnips, Lucifer ornamental yokum. Little Abner's taking them to the store directly after breakfast. See if you can make out this print. What do you make of it? Nothing. Good for fire. No, no. Reading. Howdy, fellas. Howdy, little Abner. Him read printing? Sure does. I can read writing and reading, too. Oh, you're the most intelligent young gentleman in Dogbat. I reckon I is. What him say? Among the distinguished visitors... Well, tickle my bones. That certainly do sound pretty. ...will be Dr. James A. Barber, the celebrated... Printing's all mixed up here. I reckon I'll better study it out. T S Y C H. What's that? Maybe it's a woodpecker. Maybe it's skunk hollers. Oh. Oh. Why, it's Cicero Grunts. Oh, it's your little Abner. What you doing here, boy? Oh, nothing. Just hanging these up for the sheriff. Don't you tell nobody you saw me with these papers. Go fetch yourself, Sister O'Grunts. We won't. What him say? $25 reward for Earthquake Magoon. Date or a lie? Better date. For robbing the First State Bank of Jonesville. The sheriff. Hmm. And do it really say $25 cash money? That's what it say. Oh, that sheriff must think we all idiots. They ain't that much money in the whole of tar nation. Oh, shit. What's the use of talking? Anyone knows you can't go in a skunk holler and come out alive. So our guess is Magoon's safe. Hey! Didn't I told you that paper ain't meant for making fire? Yeah, you'll keep it, little Abner. Maybe you can read again for us. I'll be glad to. Uh. Well, I gotta get it going. So long. So long. Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Yo, we. Yippee! 
Me make them fire. Ancestor, very clever people. is right. You never seen such messes as some of them boys. Four days you may, she can't get even one. Oh, that's too bad. She's welcome to any of these. I don't think she'd be interested. She's plumb sought on just one boy. Where is she? Down loud, chasing after that little Abner. You mean that big, handsome boy? Mm-hmm. Mm. I think I'll go down and look up for days in May. That's all, boy. <laughs> lovely. That's what he is, just plain lovely. Same. Is you going north to Pineapple Junction? No. Is you maybe headed south for Sweet Patootie Corner? No. Why are you she headed for, little Abner? I'm a headed for so tired of John Stall. Well, I will ask for and receive five pounds of boiled ham, one spool of thread number ten white, one can of pineapple, two pounds of cheese, half soles for Pappy's boots, one large jar of sweet patootie, one large jar of sour pickle, one bottle of ketchup, one bottle of mustard, one can of pea water for salome, two twists of pipe tobacco for my mammy. That art turns on my heel, makes a beeline for home. What a peculiar coincidence. I said it's a soft heart of John Stoll likewise. And likewise, I used to turn on my heel and make a beeline back here. Oh. Well, there's no reason why we can't walk together, is there? Uh, ain't no log, Janet. Someone strong to hold on to. Wait here. I'll see if there's someone strong around. You're strong and yours around. Suppose not does help you. There's nothing romantical about it. We both understand that. Don't we? Yes, little Abner. Give me your arm. What party flowers? Show is fragrant. Smell it, little Abner. Uh huh. Oh! oh. <laughs> Love is what little Abner's in on with Daisy May. That's a lie. <laughs> oh, walking arm in arm with your heads close together, a smell of flower. Worst case love I ever seed. I hates love. What's about her to be in love of? She's only got golden yellow hair, no more golden yellow than the summer sun. Her eyes are only as blue as the sky. The teeth are no more white or shiny than pearls. As for her cheeks, I can show you plenty of peaches which is Almost as soft and pink and white. Yo thinks love is what I is in up with her. Yo take that back. Little, little Abner, yo was right. She is just an ordinary, yaller-haired, blue-eyed, pinky-cheeked gal. 
just like you'll say, anybody'd be a fool to be in love with her. Yes, sir, an awful fool. Oh, it wasn't for you, Bob, me. On account of what you done said about Daisy May. Oh, I said it was what you're saying. Correct. Only you said as if you meant it. Wait for me to laugh, Nick. I'll walk by myself, thank you. You always getting me talked about. <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Daisy May, I'm sure powerful glad to see you. Same you're delightful. What for you let him get away? I couldn't help it. I loves him so. What can be wrong? Maybe you need a new technique. Technique? What's that? Oh, that's what you gotta have to get him. Let's see. He's the tall, dark, and ignorant type. A boy like him requires only the crudest technique. It's the uh, you who less woo. Then do as your conscience tells you technique. Sure wish I had some. I'll show you how it's done. Will you? There's nothing to it. Hello, Lil Abner. Howdy, Mr. Old Timer. Look at her. Ain't she the most humorous looking gal you ever see? Look at the bugle on her. <laughs> boys, boys. You're always too young and innocent to know what you're laughing at. What do you mean, old timer? What's this Sadie Hawkins day? A long time ago, this gal, uh, Sadie Hawkins, lived right here in Dog Patch. For years, she tried to catch herself a husband. Didn't have no luck. Finally, her pappy, who was the mayor, called all the bachelors of Dog Patch together, pulled out his gun and says, I declare today Sadie Hawkins' day. When I fires my gun, you all can begin a running. After you've got a fair start, Sadie will take out, and the man she catches is going to be her husband. That's how it started. Now, every year when Sadie Hawkins' day rolls around, life ain't safe for any male critter in Dog Patch. Now, did you get the idea? I'll never be able to understand technique. The lavender. As a special favor to you, I'll contact you, little Abner. You'll go hard and watch me work my technique. You know? But you gotta promise to take him off my hand. After he falls madly in love of me. I'll be so glad to take him off in your hands. Go on, get him. Ignorant than I thought. I gotta use a cruder technique. Sorry, little Abner. Morning, Barney Bargree. Nice morning. Sure is. Take you from the big sloppy beast, ma'am. Name a little Abner Yokum. Oh. Don't worry, ma'am. He'll fall in just a minute. I'll give my dog Pat's lullaby, which my mammy teached me. <laughs> he always acts like that at first. Why does you reckon he wanted to kiss me? Dog the fawn knows I can't see no reason for it myself. You can't? I don't know why any intelligent man would want to go kissing a gal. Well, it ain't the kissing on minds, it's the trouble it starts. You kiss a girl and what happens? She gets romantical, she wants more. 
She follows you day and night, and finally your brain weakens and you marries her. You has lots of children. Gets old and gray worrying about them. So your children marries and has children, and then you not only got to worry about your children, but about your grandchildren. Your grandchildren has children, and by that time you has the misery and the rheumatism, and pretty soon you dies. That's why I don't like kissing. Oh, little Abner, yo is just my type. Yo ain't romantical, and that's just what I ain't. Is that what yo ain't? Romantical is exactly what I ain't, as you can plainly see. Well, yo was one gal and an awful lot. Sure would be nice to sit in that log and rest if I had some nice fancy to board talk to. If I sees one, ma'am, I'll be glad to send him back here. Trouble is, most boys get romantical, and I'd hate that. Naturally. But yo wouldn't get romantical, would you, Mr. Yoakum? Not me. That's fine. Then we can talk about interesting subjects. Something that ain't romantical. Show sure enough. You know, it's kind of pretty in here with soft wind blowing through the trees, and little birds singing, beautiful flowers are smelling up the air. You know what it makes me feel like? No, what do it make you feel like? Like discussing educational subjects. For instance, what to do if a skunk gets in your woodshed. You know, skunks is funny little critters. I like discussing educational subjects and uh, learn things. What'll we discuss? Let's discuss the Eskimos. What's that? People. Would you like to know how Eskimos kiss? No. Oh, they don't kiss the way you think. Put out your hand. That's how Eskimos kiss. Oh, Eskimos and... Those shaped hands. Wood. Shut your eyes. Mm. Man, what a technique I got. Little Abner, little Abner, honey, is your hurt? Oh. Get out of sight. My technique is just starting to work. Get. Get. Did you like that, little Abner? Oh, I hated it. I knew kissing to do this. It hurt my head. I'm a going home. You ain't gonna run away after giving me such a nice kiss. Yo kissed me. I didn't kiss yo. Cause if I did, we'd be engaged. That's the code of the hills. <laughs> oh, my poor head. Oh. Ain't he honorable? <laughs> I'm going back to Pineapple Junction. These men around here don't make no sense. He sure makes sense to me. Pansy, you scrubbing a hide off my back. Might as well quit complaining, Lucifer. It's coming on winter and it's time for your bath. Oh, I'm the most unhappy man. Hi, Lucifer. Morning, fantastic brown. Hmm. Don't seem like no time since I gave my fantastic his spring clean in. Ow! Ow! Tain't human, that's what it is. Get for home. You're next. Ow! Oh, tain't no ass near time for my winter scrubbing. Mammy. All oh, feels damp, Mammy, and powerful hungry. Walker always does come noon. Get yourself a sandwich. 
That'll keep you spanked up. Sure. Don't dash quick till it gets through with Pappy. Howdy, Mrs. Shulkin. Howdy, Hannibal Hoop. Where at little Abner? Me and him's are going fishing. He's getting himself some vittles. No! <laughs> I'll go tell him I'm here. No! Ben, do you have a little mercy on me? What'd you fix on little Abner? The Oakham starvation preventer. Smells like you got sweet patootie in her. Not only sweet patootie, but I asked also sour pickles. Ham and cheese with ketchup, pineapple, sardines off the can, of course. Two fried eggs left from breakfast, a rash of roast talk, lots of ketchup. Ain't you finished yet, Pansy? Oh. I started at the top. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You see? You're beginning to like it. Oh. <laughs> 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 So looks powerful good. Something missing. Maybe it's mustard. Maybe it was ripe. A little mustard on that picture. Stay right while you eat. Come here, Salome. <laughs> yeah, Salome. Yeah. Might as well quit complaining, Salome. Won't do you no good. Well, what's the matter, little Abner? I got a most peculiar feeling. Oh, it must be because my stomach's empty. <laughs> Mammy, I've got a terrible misery in my stomach. What you put in your sandwich, son? Just a few things and enough ketchup and horseradish and mustard to make it tasty. Mustard? You know that stuff ain't agreed with you since the time you ate that mustard plaster when you was a little baby. What you need is a doctor. There ain't no doctor around here. You know that. There'll be one. Says so right here. Dr. Barber will be on the limited when it stops at the county siding for water at noon. And that's right where I'm a go. <laughs> Don't be late for supper, son. <laughs> well, there she is. Oh, I wonder where Dr. Barber is at. <clears throat> always stretch the old soup bones when you get a chance. That's what I always say. There's a man got on a white coat like doctors has. Maybe that's Dr. Barber. I'll go ask him. You go that away in case it ain't. Joe Barber. That's me. What's in your mind, kid? Can you fix me up? Well, that's a pretty big order. <laughs> that mop looks like a busted mattress. But with my trusty scissors, I can probably fix you up all right. You ain't going to cut me, is you? Hmm? What's the matter with you, boy? I'm sick. Powerful sick. Well, now, what am I supposed to do? Bust out in tears? 
That'd be mighty sweet of you, but all I want to know is what ails me. Well, sir, <laughs> that's what we'd all like to know. Can't be my appetite, because I just ate a combination ham, cheese, pineapple, sardine, sweet patootie, sour pickle, fried egg, preserved turnip, and roast hog sandwich. <laughs> Whoa, with catsup, horseradish, and mustard, doctor. Doctor? Oh, <clears throat> well, uh, can't be your appetite, son. Let me see. <clears throat> doctor, mm -hmm. stick out your tongue. Let me look at that tongue. Stick it way out, way out. That's it. Now, uh, say, ah. Ah. Uh, You're flat. Is ah? Uh, well, now, <clears throat> just uh, take a good deep breath now. Take a good deep breath. That's it. Now, stick your stomach out. Come on, stick it out. Stick it way out. That's it. Now, close your eyes. Oh! Did you feel a sharp twinge? All aboard. Oh, my boy, that's bad. That's bad. You've got it. All You've aboard. got it. What has I got? You've got thrombosis. Thrombosis? Will I die? You're dead now from the neck up. How soon will the rest of me be dead? In 24 hours. I didn't find no Dr. Barber. Oh, I did. You did? What did he say? He told me I was going to be dead in 24 hours. On account of, I got scrombosis. You don't mean you'll be dead by the Mari? Dater than a catfish, hate come noon. That's life. Yar today, thar tomorrow. Hello, Mammy. How's you feeling, son? Howdy, Pappy. How's your misery? My stomach feels fine. If only the doctor hadn't told me, I wouldn't know I was going to be dead in 24 hours. Dead? What you mean? Just plain dead. Oh, horseradish. Well, all you got is a tinch of mustard poisoning. Mammy, you always very comforting. But I has prepared my mind. Well, son. If you're going to be dead, you're going to be dead. We will be more sad and lonely. Naturally. A daisy may will be more sad, too. Seems to me it ain't fair you're dying and not telling her nothing about it. Those key wrecked, Mammy. All that tells her I loves her. Do you? I, I mean that I uh, dislikes her less than any other gal. What must I do, Mammy? You could marry up with her. I could. Now that I'm going to be dead. Uh, son, your, your time's getting mighty short. I'm going to make love to her like she always wanted me to. <laughs> Happy, shut your face. Here, Hannibal. You follow his little Abner. Does he do anything peculiar? Come back here and tell me. Well, Mrs. Yoakum, he might... Uh... He won't just do as I tell you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Little Abner ain't gonna be dead in 24 hours. He's gonna be married with Daisy May. He is? Mm, <laughs> Pappy, you is the most ignorant as critter I ever did see. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I must say you hold your age pretty well, but you is a tempting fate. I knows. It's getting along. Well, you better teach yourself a man this city Hawkins day, for you won't be able to run fast enough next year. To teach one? I don't want just any man. I want Latin. Kindly step out yard with me. Yes, of course I will. Oh, I was just telling Grace. Our aims to make love for you. Uh, Powerful, romantical love. We were just talking. Huh? What'd you say? Ooh. I'm going to make love to you. Powerful, romantical love. Let's go.
The Shaw place looks romantical enough. It's lovely. Sit down. Well, now aims to commence making love to you. Dog patch style? Dog patch style. Tell me I was your sweet patootie blossom. You wants to tell me you loves me? That you just can't live without me? Oh, little Abner, that's just exactly what I want to hear you say. Because love is what I was in love with you. Don't do that. I can't stand it. It's awful. Is it so awful just to have me near you, little Abner? It makes me feel miserable. When I feel miserable, I was the most unhappy man. I don't want to make you unhappy, little Abner. Daisy May. Yes, little Abner. Come back, y'all. Yes, little Abner. This ain't the way I planned it. Sit down. Shut your eyes. A pink cheesecloth or your white muslin with the make-believe sweet patootie blossoms. I reckon I'll wear the pink with the white sweet patootie veil. Does you think that'll look pretty, little Abner? Sure will. You aiming to go to a party? Yes, a wedding party. Oh, very unfortunate. Well, who's it getting married? You and her, naturally. Mm -hmm. Me and her? Yes, you and her. I didn't say nothing about no getting married. I wanted to make her happy, so I kissed her. That's all. That's enough. The boys around here don't kiss girls until the day before they get married. And today's the day before you get married. That's the code of the hills. <laughs> Huh? You can't get married tomorrow noon. I got it. It's the code of the hills. But you'll be dayed. And if I'm dayed, I can't be married. Oh, happy tomorrow noon. I also got things to do. Here I am, knowing all about my future, and doing nothing about my mammies and my poor pappies. You know, it's most kind and considerate to be thinking of them at a time like this. Do you see this paper? Sure, I ain't blind. That's the Magoon reward. I'm going to Skunk Holler. Our I aims to call briefly on Earthquake Magoon. That's what I aims to do. Little Abner. Do 
we do anything peculiar, I'll go to little Abra's mammy and I'll tell her. That smells a lot of dog patcher. How you know he's a dog patcher? Because he don't smell. Will you quit fainting and open that safe? I only brung you along because you're the cashier. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. McGlue. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a bit nervous. <laughs> 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 here to take it to the sheriff for our aims to collect the $25 reward. <laughs> That's most interesting. This are gives to my sweet mammy and pappy, which they will use to live most comfortably the rest of their natural lives in dog pads. Is you old from dog pads? Naturally. Does you all know that you's about to be dead? Who's <laughs> got a live pad at your back? Oh, 
how do you do? Is your man or beast? I the gal, name of Wendy Wildcat. Oh, sure is. Gal, do you know another way out of here? Them skunk hollers have got me trapped. And of course, your wish is to get out. Naturally, don't you? If I goes out, I'll have to marry up with my goon. And he sure ain't my ideal. Does you show me another way out of here? I'll help you locate your ideal. I will be most delighted to help you. Does you keep your garden and bring me my ideal? Which is your little lavender? I'll do anything you say. I'll... Does you oh, mean marry up with you? That's exactly what I mean. Oh, no, ma'am. I just couldn't. Just a minute. When must I marry up with you? Tomorrow, at noon. And not before? Exactly at noon. I'll be yours tomorrow at noon, no matter what shape I was in. Come on, pick up your bundles and follow me. So now. This way. It's 23, 24, and 25 dollars. There you is, little Abner. Oh, thank you most kindly. Who has relieved the county of public polecat number one? And further, Mr. Yoakum, you have saved all of the bank's money and my life there. You is most kind. Oh, be careful. It's a ten-center. I will guard it very tenderly. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sheriff. Goodbye, my poor, innocent little pappy. I'm going to give you this enormous fortune. But... if it don't look just like a do around dog pants. Cornelius Cornpone. And only yesterday I seen him a going turkey hunting. <coughs> Cornelius Cornpone. Who is that? Is that your little Abner? Sure is. Cornelius Cornpone, I never thought you would make it. <laughs> uh, but your show is an angel. Uh, uh, you really think so? I show sure do. Tell me, Cornelius, does you like it up here? Yeah, I, I think it's fine. Cornelius, does they uh, feed you good? You know, does you get preserved uh, turnips and, and poke chops, maybe? 
Yeah, of course I does. Oh, gosh, that's most encouraging. Well, uh, I gotta be walking along. Is y'all gonna walk? Yeah, sure. Confounded idiot. He walks, and with a pair of wings like that. But I ain't no chump. I'm gonna fly. Hey! Don't, don't, don't! <laughs> Guess I ain't been dead long enough for him to sprout. What's the matter with your boy? Cornelius, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Where are your wings? Stop it, stop it, stop it! Is you crazy? Or are you just trying to kill yourself? I can't kill myself, because I was already dead. <laughs> oh, is I? <laughs> Look, you're the livest looking yokum I ever seen. No. Oh, I just gotta be dead. On account of I done promised to marry up with two different gals come noon. Oh, what must I do? Mammy, I'm gonna fly home and... Ooh. I'm gonna walk home. Ah! Mm -hmm. All right, officially proclaim an announcement about Sadie Hawkins' day, which is tomorrow. Oh. Any man that does not appear will suffer the most distressful consequences. My committee here will choose a wife for him, and Mary and Sam will do the rest. My dear friends of Dog Pack. That's all. The official course is marked off with the usual flags and is now open for practice. Let's go. Come on. Now, tomorrow, when I fire the shot that starts the race. How's here, little Abner? And yours is mine. How's here? And yours is mine. I can't do it. I ain't a goner. I was supposed to be dead. But you promised me, little Abner. He did not. He's got an engagement for marriage with me at this very moment. He has not, because he's going to marry with me at this very moment. He's mine. He's mine. 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 Hmm. Mine. mine. Looks like mine. some of the gals mine. is trying to jump the gun. Hey, 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Tomorrow is Sadie Hawkins' day. Keep your hands off of him. You keep yours off of him. Mayor Gurgle, we're engaged to be married this very noon. She comes along and... He promised what? to marry me this noon, and this here... Now, just says... a minute, just a minute. <clears throat> Little Abner, did you promise these two gals? <clears throat> well, yes, sir. Oh, uh... You promised. That's all I want to know. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, committee. <coughs> it is my decision that this matter be settled tomorrow in the city of Hawkins race. Whichever gal catches him, he's hern. In the meantime, little Abner Yoakum is reserved for only these two gals until sundown tomorrow. Yay! And may the best gal win. <laughs> Daisy May, good luck. Thank you, Mayor Good luck to you, Wendy. Yeah. And little Abner. Little Abner. Little Abner. So naturally, I figured I was going to be dead. 
Instead of which, I'm afraid I'm going to be married up with two different gals. Mammy, you're going to help me. Son, your hair's got yourself in a terrible mess. What must I do? According to the rules of Sadie Hawkins' day, I can't tell you nothing. I got an idea, little Abner. If something should happen to Wendy Wildcat... Get it! She were... were... But somebody's got to help me. All I can do is just give you a hint. What is it, Mammy? It's safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. What you mean, Pansy? Yeah. That's all I can tell you. Safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. Ah, quit your worrying, son. I washed your nice, clean shirt for the Sadie Hawkins celebration tonight. Go on, go and have a lot of fun. Safe a hound dog and a rabbit? <laughs> Tomorrow we was liable to be bachelors no more. Lou Abner, sure wouldn't mind to have this dance with you. Check. Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. You had your share. Lou Abner, I wish you to dance with you. Oh, I don't want to dance. Don't make no difference. Who'll say you got it? That's right. Oh, shit. We are about to hold the Sadie Hawkins Bachelor Beauty Review. All bachelors line up here with the platform. Come on, little Abner, you in this contest. But he's resolved for me. Can't help it. All the bachelors got to get in line. That's the rules. Go on. Show sure enough. I'm gonna smile pretty. I aims to get myself kissed for marriage. Me too. Then squaw build them fire. Are you ready? Start the music. I wish you to consult with you about our honeymoon. Tomorrow night you'll be mine, little Abner, dear. Just think. Oh, I is a thinker. About me? I was trying to figure out why it's safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. Your riddle is simple. On account it's safer to chase than to be chased. Chase. Be chased. How did it now? Oh, happy Sadie Hawkins Day! Ha, <laughs> ha, 
poor boy. <laughs> Don't be so tender. Keep cool, Wendy Wildcat. You surely is anxious. From what I hear, that little Abner's worth catching. <laughs> you just got to catch him this yard, Daisy May. <laughs> Morning, Mammy Yoakum. Good day for the race. Mayor sure Green. is, sure is. All oh, bachelors to the starting line. Mighty right fine practice here, Mayor. Got a good yard, good yard. Yes, sir. Well, good uh, luck, boys. Hi, Mayor. Good Never luck, seen boys. a more determined looking lot of girls. But Pansy, one of Wendy Wildcat catches him. Howdy, Sassafras. I ain't seen you since last Sadie Hawkins Day. If you ain't going to do nothing for our son, I is. Is I? I is. Bring him to me. I'll take you up. Yes. <laughs> so you two's as bachelors, ain't you? No, sure no. Get in line then. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Mr. Earthquake. What do you want, little man? Uh, I would like to make a business call on you. What business a little skunk like you got with me? Ah, please hold your horses. Yes. <laughs> First, I want you to keep your windy wildcat from marrying with my son, little Ab. Does she catch him in the race? I met your son. Does you give me that bar? I guarantee he'll never see Wendy Wildcat again. <laughs> I know. You promise on your honor? I promise. takes off. Two minutes later, I fires the gun the second time, and the gals takes off. Any bachelor that gets catch has got to ask the gal to marry with him. Yeah, all you got to remember is to bring your man to me, sir, and I'm guaranteed to give you the finest wedding. It's That's all. Uh, Everybody get ready. On your mark. All ready, get set, go! Ooh, what happened? Stand aside, stand aside, I'm all right. Get the gals to the line. To you, Daisy May. We're for you. That gal ain't got a chance with me. Go get him, Wendy. We're for you. Ready? Already? Get on your mark.
Yukum! What are you done with Earthquake Magoon? I ain't done nothing with him. But look what he did with me. Which way did he go? He went another way. Found the alarm! Hurry up!
got yourself something. I sure had. Little Adam, dear, you was mine at last. Little Abner! Little Abner. Every gal in town is after little Abner, poor Abner. He's a superman that's swimming. He'll give any man a trimming. But when it comes to kissing pretty women, little Abner goes, go, go. Daisy May pursues him. He always runs away. Daisy Holland, whoa! But you ought to see no one say. Whisper, what's your fashion? Little Abner says, pork chop. 